Well, greetings and blessings in Jesus' name, and welcome to this devotional from the book of Psalms. I trust you'll be blessed this month, inspired this month, that you use this brief devotional as part of your overall devotional. Uh, whatever you normally do, I uh, thank you for inviting me into that time you have with God, and I pray you'll be blessed and encouraged in this devotional from the book of Psalms. Reading now from Psalm 1, verse 1, Blesses the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in a congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. In this first Psalm, David sets the standard. Some Bibles have this heading above that first Psalm, the way of the righteous and the end of the ungodly. In a world full of compromise, in a world full of shifting standards, God's word and Jesus provides a firm foundation. And this Psalm, like many of the Proverbs, lays out a clear contrast between the blessings of walking with God and the futility of not walking with God. This is the entire reason we do devotions, because we want to love God. We want to show that we love God. We want to deepen our love for God and be devoted to His way. So hence, devotions, because we are devoted. Let's go into this, this Psalm. Verse 2 says this. Verse 2 says, that blesses the person who delights in the law of the Lord. Now this word law here does not speak of the law of Moses, but of principles of the word of God or of God's ways. The word delight doesn't talk about just things you like. You know, for example, I like dark chocolate, okay? But the word delight here really speaks of desire and passion. Again, I like dark chocolate but have no passion for dark chocolate. I don't meditate on dark chocolate day and night. I delight in the Lord and in serving his purposes. I delight in his word, which I have been blessed to live and teach for 40 years. I delight in my family, in my grandchildren, in uh, missions work. I've been to Africa six times. I delight, I have passion, I have desire for all these things. So the Bible says that when you delight in the word of God, in the law of God, in the ways of God, then you understand how God can help you. Now, my question to you is, think about your delight, your desire, your passion. Where is it directed? To whom is it directed? Because when your delight has the correct objective, the correct direction, then the outcome is what verse 3 says. It says again, You'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf does not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. You may have noticed that even in a dry place, if a river is going through a dry place, you'll see trees growing alongside the river. Well, we know because the roots can tap the water source. My simple encouragement for you is, Stay close to the word. Water speaks of God's word. And as you delight in God's word, delight in God's ways, it, when your desire and passion go that direction and you're planted close to the rivers of water, the word, you're going to prosper as God promised. So again, stay close to God's word. Jesus is the word. I want to encourage you to subscribe to this blog. There is a a uh, subscribe button on the side. If you put your email in there and click that, you'll get this blog every morning uh, around 5 a.m. I trust you'll walk with us here. If you miss a session, it'll be here. Come back to it. Don't feel condemned. I miss one. That's okay. You can go pick up and do two in one day if you want. The main thing is let the devotions toward God continue. Because devotions is not just some work 
of our effort. It is an expression of our love in the grace of God and in Jesus Christ. You have a great day.